Meshia Investments manufactures and supplies motor vehicle components for the original equipment and aftermarket parts in southern Africa and Eastern Europe. Ah, Eastern Europe is interesting and Turkey too. So let's explain that. Original equipment, that's where you sell parts that go into new motor vehicles. The aftermarket is where you sell things like lights, fan belts, you know, all the roots and pieces that go into a vehicle once it's second hand and starts getting a little tired. No, it's companies like this, Paul, that have to be celebrated because this is about manufacturing mm -hmm. on the African continent, in particular South Africa. Yes, remember back in the day, South Africa was keen to get more motor manufacturing in this country. So they gave all sorts of incentives to the motor vehicle industry to manufacture here. And one of the things that they get points for is if they use local components. So companies like this, Meta used to have a strong connection with Toyota, the Bradley family family were involved in building up the stake in it and now it is a global player and that's looking good specifically in battery technology. Yes, and I like that battery technology because given again the power crisis that is upon us in South Africa yep. batteries have got to be one of the key components going forward. Indeed although these are mostly vehicle automotive batteries and in particular the kind that are used in vehicles that get turned off and on at every traffic light. I'm not sure if you're I'm familiar sure with that, that system. I'm sure that in this current Quick space start, they've, stop, start they've got some R&D trying to transform <laughs> those batteries into broader functioning batteries. So they bought a company called Rombat, which is, makes batteries in Romania, and then they've also bought a company called Mutlu Aku, which is based in Turkey, which had a big manufacturing position, obviously supplying the uh, European market. So well. market cap we're looking at here, surprisingly big, mm. 7.2 billion rand, P.E. ratio of 0.12, dividend yield of 2.2%. Yeah, that P.E. ratio looks a little bit low, but maybe there were some write-ups, write-downs and prior year comparisons because they've just finalized the transaction to buy out the minorities in Mutlu Aku, which was listed in Istanbul on the Turkey Stock Exchange I and like so on. that, Mutlu Aku. But you're right, 7 billion rand. It's a solid company. It's got its head office in Kalani here in Johannesburg. It's got distributed operations. You know, they've got factories that make like Hella lights and that sort of thing. As I said, big in roads into the South African industry which looks more or less okay. Basically what the global players have done is they've decided to, as they do, manufacture specific models. So I think you know BMW only makes the right hand drive 3 series in Roslyn and Toyota only makes the sesvikile taxis in the plant in Amams and Toti and then Meta has their operations they to supply are part them. part of the supply chain, yep, the, the value indeed. chain, hot or not on Meta. Solid, solid operation. Done a little bit of kind of wobbling with regard to share price recently, and I think it had to do with the uncertainty relating to the cost of the latest Turkish acquisition. But is I do like it. I think Theo Luke writes and runs a great company. His shareholder base is very firm and solid, so I'm hot on this one too.